On July 16, 2014, a group of parents of children with significant disabilities gathered in Tucson, Arizona to discuss the impact and unintended consequences they would face if the federal government and some advocates are successful in closing sheltered workshops. This action would eliminate options the parents believe work best for their families. Benefits will be lost. That it will include the kind of benefits she gets working here because there are monies provided to places like Beacon to provide the support and the assistance and the training and the monitoring and the going with to the job in the community. I remember, I remember vividly the first time that our doctor told us that we had a mentally retarded child and that he had Down syndrome. The thoughts that run through your mind for the rest of your life and how much your life is going to change already, and you haven't even gotten to that point yet, but the, the thoughts that are already running through your mind, now I look back over 25 years and to see where we are today with Jordan, and because of organizations like Beacon and all the other supports he's had, it, it absolutely just blows my mind to see how far he has come and what he is capable of doing. He has to have that option. It has to be available for people that want it. If you want these children to not be properly socialized and to become a burden on the state, then maybe, then maybe you should follow the solution and abolish all these choices and then you'll end up with that. And that's what you will have, because we will all be gone. The, the workplace that's provided here is something that gives them socialization. It takes care of them. Most jobs have supervisors. This job has supervisors. They really supervise the, the, the clients that we need to have supervised. All I know is I have seen <clears throat> what it has done for my son these past few years and how much it has helped him, how much it helped him uh, grow as an individual, how much it has helped stabilize our family because we had no idea what we were gonna do with him when he finished high school. I love my daughter to pieces, but uh, you know, it, it, she's hard to deal with. She's real hard to deal with sometimes. And the people at Beacon know how to deal with her. Where else am I gonna find that? Where else is she gonna be able to work? I think it's just funny that um, these changes are, you know, noble in concept, but not noble in consequence. Really ignoble in consequence. And to, to legislatively decide that our charity is no longer to extend to that degree, because we have an economic justification that tells us we're going to cut off a certain population from having those services, that is a very risky choice. Certainly will overburden the criminal justice system, we may overburden the medical system, but the social cost to us and to our loss of productivity, to our loss of socialization, to the culture that we've built here is not calculated. And that's why we're speaking out.